Hello everyone. This is one of my favorite books the Watchtower has written. So I really like this book because it was written five years different from my age. This book was written in 1966 and I was born in 1961. So this is one of my favorite books. You probably wonder why this book is my favorite because it has been part of my life and I'm 52 years old and almost 53 years old in December and I'm going to show you the proof the watchtower was the one who made this book this is the inside cover you see the people Par um, it's a, a paradise, mountains, trees, and all of that. This book was written in 1966, like I said, by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of Pennsylvania. Over 2 million copies. There's the uh, headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, I'm going to go back to the the picture, and I want to show an audio of a talk while, while I was going through my favorite book. I had a phone tie-in to one of the Kingdom Halls, and they was talking about Armageddon. Yeah, let's hear it. Okay, you heard him mention about a speaker mentioned about 1978 and three years earlier, that was 1975, and you heard him mention about 1975, if anybody in the Kingdom Hall right now would not be in, in the Kingdom Hall, because they wouldn't be in the truth around 1975. I'm going to play that again. Okay, you heard what he said. Anybody who was after 1975, 1975 could not have been the end of Armageddon or the beginning of Armageddon. Otherwise, those people would not be in the Kingdom Hall. Remember I said this is my favorite book? 
I'm going to show you why it's my favorite book. Page 29. Look what we got here. Let's go, let go, let's go down where it shows the 4026 BCE. The creation as 4026 BCE, according to this trustworthy Bible chronicle, 6,000 years from man's creation will end in 1975. And the seventh period of the of a thousand years of human history will begin in night in the fall of nineteen seventy five CE. I don't know why they got the CE for, but anyway it's nineteen seventy five. What was that guy mentioned about? 1975. The reason why? Because there's a lot of brothers and sisters was around that time. There's a lot of people hear, heard rumors about 1975. So the Watchtower is getting all the elders to throw people off to let them know if 1975 was going to be Armageddon. Those poor brothers and sisters that was not in the truth at that time, well, by Jehovah's Witnesses' teaching, they would have been destroyed. Because unless you are a Jehovah's Witness, you would be totally destroyed. In 1975, The last page in chapter 1, it has um, about four pages above that, a chart from all the way from Adam, all the way up to our time. And you notice at the top, it's showing here, 1927. Talks about the Watchtower. 1945. Talk about the Watchtower. The reason why I'm bringing that up is you notice down there it says 1975 and 6,000 years. I want to focus on that. There's your 1975. 6,000 years, which is talked about the mark of um, 1975. And they said the seventh day would start 1975. That would be 1,000 years. Man would be living without Satan, the devil, on the earth. So that would, 6,000 plus 1,000 makes 7,000. You come across here, there's your 1975 when the world Armageddon was supposed to start. 1,000 year reign with peace without Satan. And at the end of the 1,000 years, it would make it 2,975. That's what I said. 2,975. So the Watchtower knew what time Armageddon would end and when Armageddon was going to start. There's a better map. You can see it for yourself. 
And you see above that, where, where the 6,000 years is, above that, life everlasting in freedom, sons of God. That is the book we are looking at right now. And there's, and there's your mark, the watchtower. Uh, exposed blood transfusion. So this book is Jehovah Witnesses. And also, my friend Mike and I was talking last night. He wanted me to bring up something else. We had... So many, so many brothers and sisters died after 1975 because they did not take blood. Which while we was looking up here, the blood transfusion. Yeah, right there, the blood transfusion. Uh, he wanted me to bring out if the world was going to end in 1975, our brothers and sisters that was taking blood transfusion, did not take blood transfusion around 1975 and up to our day, they would not died because we all would have been in that 1,000 year reign of of the new system. So people, the Watchtower has lied to all of us. They have deceived us. So it's, it's no wonder they keep bringing up 1975 in the congregations because they don't want you to know the real truth that the publications about 1975 was real. And and in the Wake magazine 1968 that's when they started putting the uh, 1975, the world was going in, and so different, different issues of, about the 70s, and it won't be much longer, the, uh, the, the system was going to collapse. Here's the date. 1975. And I want to show you one more thing. Page 26. Same book. There's the name of the book. Let's go all the way down. And I'll zoom in on this. Six thousand years of human existence closing. Isn't that a prediction? Six thousand years of human existence closing. Back to page twenty nine. The fall of 1975. People, we have been lied to. And I hope and pray you download this book and read it for yourself. We've lost too many brothers and sisters died in blood transfusion because they thought this world was going to end. And they believe in the watchtower lies. And they died for nothing. And just like we're going to die if we keep serving this false organization. Thank you. Have a nice day.